The national average is now $4.08 a gallon, and that has a lot of Americans trying to come up with eco-friendly ways to keep driving past the gas station. Early show national correspondent Hattie Kaufman reports. These don't run on just gas. I know. They're like electric. Yeah. Calling them cars of the future. Automakers let the public test drive hydrogen-fueled cars outside the California State Capitol building. Given that gas is over $4 a gallon, um, I saw that they were having an event out here and I wanted to learn more about the technology. I was really impressed with how smooth it was and really quiet. At first glance, the cars look like anything you might see on the road. But under the hood, there's a world of difference. There is no engine, there is no exhaust, there is no heat generated. It is a complete electric vehicle powered by hydrogen fuel cell. This is a true zero emissions vehicle, which means the only thing coming out of the tailpipe is water vapor. Though a handful of fuel cell cars are popping up in a few test markets, it could be a decade before they're available to the general public. They are coming and they will provide tremendous benefits to not only the um, environment and our energy situation, but to customers. But not everyone is willing to wait. Bob Schaefer salvaged this car from the junk heap and converted it to electric, perhaps the best investment he's ever made. And every time I drive past the gas station, I laugh. <laughs> Sometimes I roll down the window and laugh <laughs> and wave <laughs> and just go, ah. Oh, wow. He took out the old engine and put in golf cart batteries. He keeps them juiced with a simple plug. There's no maintenance costs. There's no oil changes, air filters, oil filters, fan belts, none of that. And most just, of all, no gasoline. That's right, and it costs about two cents a mile to run. It could be even cheaper if you never had to plug in to charge your batteries. That's John Weber's goal. His go power comes from the sun. It's got good acceleration. Oh yeah, it works pretty well. I thought that perhaps it would be slow and pokey. No, it, it gets, you can stay up with speed, you know, with the rest of the cars. Now, is it generating some power from the sun even as we right drive? Right now, yeah, wow. it is still making power. Solar panels on the car roof charge the batteries. He built it with the help of friends. I'm impressed that you could just figure this out and then take it upon yourself to do it. Well, it was just, I always thought it was something you could try to do if you could make a solar charging electric car. He never has to buy another drop of gasoline. Well, I haven't filled it up yet in two years, so. <laughs> How good does it feel at the end of the day to know that you are not contributing, one, to uh, polluting the atmosphere, or two, not spending your money on gasoline? It feels pretty good, especially you have a few extra dollars in your wallet. But there are no bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranties in the do-it-yourself world. There's a little bit of smoke coming out. Uh-oh. Hold on. This doesn't look good at all. I just was driving this thing all over the place. A few adjustments, and Sun Car One was back on the road. John is upgrading with some advice from an expert on solar energy. Solar is the answer. I mean, it's, there's nothing better. It'll solve all of our problems. You guys are pioneers. Well... I think there's a lot of us pioneers out there. It's a great time to be alive. Uh, you know, everybody now has a chance to change the world as we know it. In this new frontier, from the little guys to the big companies, the spirit of invention is alive and well. Hattie Kaufman, CBS News, Boise, Idaho.